either they put a full stop or they jump to the next verse. And Arun Shuri, who is one of the staunchest critics of India where I come from, he writes in his book, The World of Fatwas. After quoting verse number 5 of Surah Tawbah, he jumps on to verse number 7. You know why? Because verse number 6 has the reply to his problem. Verse number 6 of Surah Tawbah says that if the kafir, if the enemy seek asylum, don't just let them go. It says, escort him to a place of security so that he may hear the word of Allah. The most merciful, the most merciful army general today in the battlefield will say, if the enemy wants to go, just let him go. But the Quran doesn't say, Quran says, if the enemy wants peace, don't just let him go, escort him to a place of security. And all the verses, almost all the verses, if you read in the Quran, which talk about fighting, mostly in the battlefield or against oppression, against tyranny. The next verse that follows is peace is better. Always. Because Islam is the religion of peace. The third strategy used by the media to malign Islam is they give a wrong meaning of the verses they quote, either of the Quran or the Hadith of the Prophet. The fourth strategy, they quote things which are alien to Islam. It doesn't exist in Islam, but they attribute it to Islam. And the fifth strategy used is, they quote things of Islam correct, but they give it a different angle. What they say is a problem to humanity, and they portray as though Islam is the problem for humanity. Actually, it is not a problem, it is the solution for the problems of humanity. I have given a talk, Islam the solution, not the problem for humanity. Time does not permit me to speak in detail on this subject. But these are the various strategies used by the media to malign Islam. And we find today on the international media that they call the Muslims as fundamentalists, as extremists, as terrorists. And most of us, the apologetic, no, you know, yes, I am not a fundamentalist, you know. There are some people who are who are fundamental. I'm not a fundamentalist. I'm not an extremist. Most of us Muslims, we are apologetic. We go on the defense. We Muslims should be dais. It is compulsory for every Muslim to convey the message of Islam to the others. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 110, O oh, e Muslims, ye are the best of people the wall for mankind kuntum khaira ummatan khidat lin nas ta'miruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhauna 'anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah because we enjoy what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in allah we are called as the khaira umma the best of people because we are supposed to enjoy what is good and forbid what is wrong and believe in allah if we do not enjoy what is good and if we do not forbid what is wrong we are unfit to be called as muslims we are unfit to be called as khaira ummah we should be proud to call ourselves muslims we should know how to turn the tables over i remember when i was doing martial arts in my young days now also i'm young mashallah in my school days i could say we always taught in martial arts, whether it be judo, jiu-jitsu, that we should use the force of the opponent to throw him over, rather than resist. If someone is pushing me, and he's a big giant, you know, you can see my physique. Nothing great. Yet, I like not having any podium, because that's a technique of the media, not that I have a very good physique. I like my body language to be seen. So when someone who is a big giant who tries to use force against you, rather than resisting, use his force to throw him over. And bigger the person, the harder he falls. You know the media today is calling Muslims as fundamentalists. What is the meaning of the word fundamentalist? Fundamentalist by definition means a person who follows the fundamentals of one particular subject. For example, if any person wants to be a good scientist, he should know, follow, and practice the fundamentals of science. Unless he's a fundamentalist in the field of science, he cannot be a good scientist. If a person wants to be a good mathematician, he should know, follow, and practice the fundamentals of maths. 
unless he is a fundamentalist in the field of maths, he cannot be a good mathematician. We cannot paint all fundamentalists with the same brush, that all are good or all are bad. Depending in which field the person is a fundamentalist, you have to label him accordingly. For example, if we have a fundamentalist robber whose profession is to rob, he is bad for the society. On the other hand, if we have a fundamentalist doctor who saves thousands of human lives, he is good for the society. You can't paint all fundamentals the same brush. You have to find out what are his fundamentals before labeling him whether he's good or bad. As far as I'm concerned, I am a fundamentalist Muslim and I'm proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. Because I know, I follow and I strive to practice the fundamentals of Islam. And I know there is not a single fundamental of Islam which goes against humanity as a whole. There may be a few fundamentals of Islam which the non-Muslims may feel it is against humanity. But the moment you give the logical reason regarding these fundamentals and the statistics of the world, there is not a single human being who is unbiased who can point out a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. Therefore, I am proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. When we read the Webster's Dictionary, we come to know that the word fundamentalism was first used to describe a group of Protestant Christians in America in the early part of the 20th century. Previously, the church, it believed that only the message of the Bible was from God. These Protestant Christians in America, in the early part of the 20th century, they protested that not only is the message of the Bible from God, but every word, every letter of the Bible is from God. If any person can prove that the Bible is the word of God, this movement is a good movement. On the other hand, if someone can prove that Bible is not the word of God, then this movement is not a good movement. When we read the Oxford Dictionary, we find that according to the Oxford Dictionary, the definition of the word fundamentalist is given. It says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to the ancient doctrine of any religion. But when we refer to the latest edition of Oxford Dictionary, there's a slight change. It says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to any ancient doctrine of any religion, especially Islam. The word especially Islam has been added to the definition. The moment you hear the word fundamentalist, you start thinking of a Muslim. He's an extremist, he's a terrorist. The media says that Muslims are extremists. I said, yes, I'm an extremist. I'm extremely kind. I'm extremely merciful. I'm extremely honest. I'm extremely just. What's wrong in being extremely kind, extremely merciful, extremely just, extremely honest? What's wrong? Can any human being tell me being extremely honest is bad? Can any human being point out to me that being extremely just is wrong? The Quran says we have to be extremely honest. We can't be partly honest. We can't be biased. That if he's my friend, I'm honest. If he's my enemy, I'm not honest. We have to be honest and just with everyone. Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 208, enter into Islam wholeheartedly. So what's wrong in being an extremist? But we have to be extremists in the right direction. We should not be extremists in the wrong direction. We should not be merciless. We should not be violent. But we should be extremists in the right direction. That's what the Quran says. But unfortunately, we go on the difference. Oh, I'm not an extremist. I'm not a fundamentalist. Turn the tables over. Muslims today are labeled as terrorists. I say, every Muslim should be a terrorist. What is the meaning of the word terrorist? Terrorist by definition means a person who causes terror. When a robber sees a policeman, he's terrified. So for the robber, the policeman is a terrorist. So in this context, <laughs> in this context, whenever a robber